Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get location data from API and then show them into Google Map using Flutter and Gitx. If you're new to Gitx and want to learn some more about it, I have done some topics on it. You can learn using the link in the description. And now let's see how the application works and I will show you how to implement them. All right, this is how our application will look in the web and in Android version. We have got a bunch of location data from API and then show them into Google map using the markers. If we press the marker, it will show the name and the place of that position. And it's the same Flutter code, which works for both web and Android. And we don't have to write anything else for the web version. We just have to add another package and add our API into index.html and it will work like this. So this is how our application will look at the end. And I will leave the source code for this in the description. You don't have to worry about that but i recommend you to watch the video till the end because there are some things that i will discuss in the video and it will save your time to come again and again all right then without talking too much let's get started with the video and see how we can implement this one but before that i request you to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and now let's get started all right, to get started first, you have to add these packages in pubspec YAML, and then you can come to the Android manifest. And here you have to add your Google map API key. You can get an API key by coming to console.cloud.google.com. And from here, you have to create a project if you don't have already. Then you can come to the APIs and services. In here, you can click on credentials and you can create an API key by clicking create credential and API. Once your API key is created, you can copy it from here and then paste it in your Android manifest right here. And also after creating this API, you have to click on it and make sure that there is no application restriction here. And also there is no restrict for the key. And then you have to search for Android map and select this maps SDK for Android and make sure that this is enabled for your current project. And if you want to make this available for the web as well, you can simply type JavaScript and select map JavaScript API and make sure that this is enabled. And if you want to make this project available for web as well, you can come to the web index.html and inside here in the head, you have to copy this script and replace this with your API key. Once it's done, you can save it and then close Android manifest and HTML. All right, next you have to set the minimum SDK to 20. And now we are ready to start. So to get started first, I'm gonna create a model and controller to make it easier for us to retrieve data from the API. And then I will create the UI part and show the locations in Google map. So these are the data which comes from API. Now let's write a Dart model file according to our data. So I will create a separate folder called models and inside here I will create. All right, according to my data, I have created variables and also created the from JSON and to JSON. Now I will write a controller to request data from API and then store it into a list of our model and then show them into our UI. So to create a controller first, I will create a folder called controllers. All right, this is our map controller class inside here. First, I will declare the variables. So these are the variables that we will require. I have created a list of map model, which is our model and a set of markers, which will be added into Google map according to the location data, which we are getting from the API and this Boolean variable to check whether the fetching data from API is done or not. Next, I will write a function to fetch data from API. All right, here's the function. I have provided my API URL. Here I've got the result and then converted that result into a list of map of string and then added that into our model, which we have here. And if there's some error, we will get the error. And once everything is finished, we have to make the loading as false and then create markers to the locations that we have fetched from the API. Now I will write the function to create the marker. All right, now we have got some data into our map model list and for each of that, we will 
create a marker for that specific location and this element will return us the data which is available inside our map model so the marker id should be unique for each markers and then icon we can set whatever we want then position is where we want to place our marker which in this case we are placing according to the data which we're getting from our api and the info window is when we tap on our marker what should be shown and then we can also have a function for on tap what should happen or anything you want now let's go ahead and write our ui and we are done all right in the main function first we have to create an instance of our controller and then call the fetch locations function okay now let me write the ui for the google map all right inside here we are checking if the map model is not empty we show the google map otherwise we can show the circular progress indicator and inside the google map we have initial position which will be the first latitude and first longitude it means the first location that we have added inside our map model and for other location data we can show a simple marker that we have created inside our controller now let's run the application and see how it works all right our app is running here and you can see all the points are showing in the google map and if i press some point here it shows the name and the city of that point point. and if you want to make it compatible with the web version you have to add this google map flutter for web and as i told you before you have to also come to the index.html you don't need any extra changes just this line of code inside index.html and the same code will be compatible with your web version let me run this in the chrome right now and i will show you the result all right here we go the same code is working for both web and mobile so this is how we can get location data from api and show them into google map using getx and flutter if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video